guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be taking a supercharged camera to the track. Before we take it to the track, we're gonna do some prepping. So I'm gonna run 15s in the front with some Mickey Thompsons. I'm on Mickey Thompsons right now, but they're street comps. They're not really gonna hook. So we're gonna run 15s in the front, and then in the rear, I'm gonna run skinnies. I have SVEs. Then we're gonna strip the interior and gonna run a Sparco. The last time we went, I didn't really film a video, but we did have some issues. I was on stock suspension at the time, kind of. I was on TRD struts and springs, a little bit bouncy. Now I'm on coilovers, so it's a lot more stiff. We're gonna go as light as possible this time. The, the only thing about this time around though is the transmission is kind of, it's not really that good as last time. I took out my old transmission, which is right there. That one had LSD in it, so it allowed both wheels to spin. This one that's temporarily in it, doesn't have LSD and it grinds third gear and second gear. My dad has a bunch of transmissions laying around. We just picked one. And unfortunately, we picked the wrong one because it just grinds. So hopefully, we could get into second and third at the track. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start tearing everything apart on the inside. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the wheels on. And then tomorrow, we're gonna go ahead and see you guys at the track. I know we're not gonna lose much weight, but I'm gonna go ahead and weigh everything anyways. All right, got everything stripped out already. So you see there's nothing left, got all the carpet out. I'm gonna go ahead, weigh everything, and then put the sparkle in it. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh myself right now, and then I'm gonna carry everything I can carry. It was just a tractor for my weight, so I weigh 161.4. What is it, gentlemen? 199. 211.2. Yeah, so you can't see the numbers of that one is 43 even plus the other 15.2 for the rear lower seat so 58.2 oh, so let's get the carpet exactly 189 exactly all right so with everything as you can see right here uh, 170.2 is with all the weight and then 127 is the sparkle so with adding a sparkle we're losing 142 pounds so basically how much do i weigh 160 so 20 pounds so it's like it's like me being pounds in the car so the car is basically driving itself at this point point. and like, the cool thing about this it was already in my dad's camry and he just kind of never left it so the rail is already there so all i gotta do is literally just it's straight bolt on it's really dirty so, all right that's good now we got the seat in, I had to do a couple of adjustments with the um, bolts. Because it was getting stuck, it wasn't locking. So we fixed that now, that's why it's a little bit later. Now what we're going to do is we're going to swap the rotors back to the stock ones. Because these rotors are too big, these are upgraded ones. So in order for us to run the 15s, we have to downsize the rotors. We got the other one on already, that one's perfect. But now we're going to do this one. Five minutes later. So we got the wheels. We got the wheels on. Right, my dad. So yeah, he's allowed, he's letting me use these wheels and these tires. We actually we got it on. We got a bunch of soap and water. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get the wheels on. Let's get So now we got everything done. Last two things I want to get done before we hit the track tomorrow is put 100 octane in it. So I got to do that tomorrow and then run the great e manage. The main reason why we're putting the great e manage on is so we can run two step for tomorrow. Day two. So yesterday, um, the last thing we did was try putting the e manage. That didn't work out. We had some issues with it. So unfortunately, we're not going to be running two step at the track today. But we did get the 100 octane. So what we're gonna do is I'm at quarter tank, kind of. By the time we get there, it should be pretty empty. I'm probably just gonna fill it up honestly with the five gallons. I was gonna do like a gallon each run just so it's lighter. But whatever, I don't think it's make too big a difference. I came back from Clutch Masters. Shout out to Luis, he gave me a free shirt. So we're gonna head over there right now. The last thing we need to do before we head out there is just take the jack, tools to 
take off the wheels so we can slap on the slicks. Um, I did try putting on the um, the skinnies, but unfortunately it didn't work. Long story short, I just need longer studs in the rear. So we can't run the skinnies, unfortunately, but at least we're able to run the slicks. Next time we go back, I want to run Grady e manage Ultimate so we can have two-step, uh, maybe more boost, just a little bit before I go on to my next full setup. This is just a baby setup right now, it's all no boost. I'll pick up the video and we're on our way to the track. All right, so we got checked in already. I'm gonna get my braces so I can run. I want my dad to run it. I could run it, but I'm not really good at it. I still need more practice. So maybe I'll practice here and there, but I want to see what the fastest my dad's gonna get. And my prediction, I think it's gonna do, I think maybe like 8.5, 8.4. That's what I think the fastest it's gonna be. With me driving it, probably like, I don't even know, not, not that fast. But with him driving it, definitely probably like an 8.4, I think. All right, I'm gonna do a run right now. We're just gonna do it like that. I'm gonna run it myself. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm going based off a of memory from like a year ago when I ran it. We're not gonna swap the tires out yet. I'm gonna do a run myself. Probably get some little practice because there's nobody here right now. And then put the slicks on and have my dad run it because I'm not trying to break it. Even though I, I do need to learn. All right, so I'm going in right now. A little bit nervous. I'm not trying to break records or anything. I'm just gonna go do a little test hit. I didn't check air pressure, nothing. Literally just drove it this way. And now I'm, uh, I'm just going straight in. But yeah, wish me luck, guys. I'm in line right now. In front of me is the Hellcat Red Eye. I don't know if I'm gonna run him or not. I'm not even gonna try against that guy. But it's like, the ner it's pretty nerve wracking, but exciting at the same time. I think the first one was the best run as far as the car performing. The last one was the best as far as me. I didn't miss shift or anything like that. Like I said, transmission is kind of messed up. It's a hit or miss when it comes to going into second and third. It locks me out. Um, the last time it ran, it was actually a really good run. The only thing was the car was actually weird. It was getting super rich and it was losing so much power. No idea what's going on, but we're gonna put the slicks on it. Uh, we're gonna try to figure out that issue. And then I'm gonna have him run it and then we're gonna see what the car can really do. All right, so we got the slicks on. I'm gonna have my dad running it right now. I'm gonna run a cool down. We need to turn to that guy over there. I don't know his name, but we're gonna run him, or he's gonna run him. Uh, he's running like almost 7.9, so it's just gonna be like a little fun run. But yeah, we're gonna let it cool down for right now, and then we're gonna have my dad run it. And hopefully, like I said, that intermittent issue when it's running super rich and losing power doesn't happen. But if it does, it does, whatever. If it is, it is. We're gonna go ahead, let it cool down, then we're gonna run it. <laughs> Going good? Uh, it's just the shifting kind of like. Oh, you had a miss yeah, shift second? Yeah, it's because of gears that when I go in. You almost got the same time as him. What was your 60 foot? Uh, 1.9. Oh, damn, that's pretty good. Pretty good run. He almost got the same time as the other guy. I think he just got to the end first. He got a 1.9, which is pretty good for a 60 foot. So it's looking a lot better.
good. This is what he was getting on his like best setup. One seven. That's what we're getting here right now. He couldn't get into third, so he got a nine one. But all right. So the goal is to at least get this with the Ram guy. This is what the Camry could do if it goes into third. But since it's not going to third, this is what it's doing. Um, but yeah, one seven. Not bad for a sixty foot uh, on the Camry. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, it goes into third this time. I think this is gonna be the sixth pass. I'm not too sure. I think it's his third pass, and I did. So this is the seventh pass right now. We did a lot. Uh, we're starting to get more people. All right, so we're going against this 5.0. We're not here to compete against anybody, but I'm really curious to see what it does against the 5.0. Hopefully, get into dirty, but we're gonna see how he does against the 5.0. Okay. All Right, it's a little later now. We did, which is we lowered it by about a pound or so. We let it cool down. This might be the last pass um, because it's locking us out and it's already getting really packed, as you guys can see. Too much traction, huh? I think I so. No, I don't know what happened. It didn't make noise when I launched. Yeah. It just like cut power. Like it didn't that. wheel hop or nothing, huh? No, it didn't wheel hop. The initial hit, like it was like it, looked, it felt like they lifted. Yeah, but it looked like it was gonna go. And then, um, like when you let off, like it looked like from all the force we're going up, it went back down. All right, so this is the best time of the night. Um, nine one, but he let off on second, no third gear. He never went into third. So this is basically like three quarters, maybe even half track letting off. Um, and then he went 1760 foot, 330 was 5.5. Five. After that, um, he never went to third. And then on the left lane, I think this was the truck. I don't know what he had or anything. Um, so as you can see, to the 330, he was already getting them. And this guy got an 8.6. Um, and this wasn't hooking as good either. So, and you can see, like, he's going only 61. Uh, he was already at 80. Usually, uh, we're at 80, 85. Uh, she's only at 61. So he never went to third. So this isn't bad, but yeah, this is the best time of the night. That's going to be the end of today's video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for other videos I have coming up, especially with the van. I do have a couple videos uh, lined up, maybe some reaction videos when it gets a little bit quicker. Same thing with this one. Uh, I'm going to be pushing more power soon. Might even run 2GR on it. Maybe we'll get some reaction videos in it. Um, but yeah, like my, like my dad said, the last run, he said it wanted to go. Like it wanted to hook, um, but unfortunately, it didn't. I don't know what happened. It went wrong. Uh, we just know that it just after it hooked it lost a lot of power so uh, maybe it hooked too much and then it uh, couldn't handle it or something we're not too sure um but yeah that's gonna be in today's video i hope you guys enjoyed uh stay tuned for other videos and like and subscribe